Okay, teachers, I'm going to go ahead and show you what we had talked about with um, deleting any of the groups that you've made. I did go back and look to see where you would actually do that. And so as long as you are in your dashboard, remember your dashboard is going to be the area that you see here on your screen that will take you to the list of your students. And it will also give you this drop down here that has the names of your groups. And so what you'll do is you'll go ahead and just select the group that you want to delete. You'll see the action button here on the side of the name of the group. When you click on actions, you'll get the option to either add students to your group by adding the profile names, renaming the group, or remo removing the group. And so when you click on remove group, it is going to tell you that it's only going to take away the group. It's not going to delete any of your students and you click on remove, it's going to then take it off of your list and hopefully it did refresh. And so now that second orange octopi group is no longer there. And so that's all you have to do in order to remove any of the groups that you've made just for practice or if you've done any uh, misspellings and you wanna rename it or completely get rid of it, remember you select the name of your group and you go next to actions for any of the options of what you would like to do to that group. I hope that that did help and answer your question.